why aren't the whales voting? You know, it's, it's not like, really a bad thing, though. Well, I, well, I brought yeah. up in the chat the other day that I thought it would be great if the whales just stopped voting. That would mean that all of our votes would go up. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe they could stop voting for other people, but can they keep voting for me? <laughs> Yeah, no, you want a free market, you get a free market, baby. Yeah. <laughs> no, no daddy. Holding. Uh, hey, there's, there's always Bernie Sanders. I mean, I love my Bernie votes as much as anybody, but <laughs> right? you know, uh-huh. if it levels the playing field, I'm okay. Bernie still vote for me, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I was looking at catchawhale.com, which is an interesting tool when I was uh, surfing steamtools.com. Great r- resource for new mm-hmm. people. And I was looking, you know, number one on the list, Ned. Voting power, 100%. Dan, 100%. Block trades, 94 Bernie Sanders, 81%. He's working. Uh, Dan the Man, 100 Tombstone, 100 Steamed, 100 It's a Cam. You know, goes on and on until you get down to about our fair sim. He's been, he's a, you know, he's a, he's a good guy. We had him on the show. He's at 92%. He's, Active user of the Steam speak. Mm-hmm. He's getting, he's, he's, you know, he's, uh, he's working a little, but then you get down to Wang and last week I checked on him. He was at 55% hardest working whale. You know, he's at 64 now. Doing a lot of reading or random upvoting. <laughs> and I doubt that, I doubt he's random upvoting. You know, these guys actually take their job seriously. These whales aren't just, uh, fucking around with their money or, you know, they're, they, they've got money and influence for a reason. And it's not because they are not careful. You know, mm. and I think that's I think that's a misconception. Some of the people who are complaining about the the whale, the missing whale upvotes. It's like, uh, have you not noticed that there's an entire uh, development of recognition of shitty content being flooded on the steam it for the last week and a half? Uh, that's the whale's response. Stop posting shitty content. Mm. So what is good content? I mean, I know we asked Stella about <laughs> this last week, but I didn't, uh, I didn't really feel, feel like I got a good answer from her. You know yeah. what? It seems like drama is good content. <laughs> As we kind of were covering earlier, drama is great content. People love to know that other people are having problems. And uh, man, not a, I don't like to support other people's problems. I like to support other people's solutions, but man, so many people feed into that, to that, that drama that I guess, uh, I guess we're probably going to see more of it than I would like. I hope it goes away. But so I, I think that good content is human generated. I'm not, I'm, I'm anti-robot in this sense. Um, both Cylons, but not, it's not on steam it. No, oh, I think that that human generated original content that isn't plagiarized is super important. Um, I've come across numerous whales voting on on copy pasted articles that I think had they had they looked into it, they might have thought twice about giving hundreds of dollars to this individual. Um, we have a new uh, I, we're we're familiar now, but there is now a different. Uh, groups that are forming together, uh, dolphin groups supported by whales to recognize and curate um, the bad from the good and downvoting people who are uh, content creators. I myself, um, so I, I have, I'm very guilty of um, taking pictures and posting the uh, cited source with it. Um, or a, you know, just kind of just leaving what was in the original article. I try to leave it unedited. Um, and there's, you know, I, I got an upvote and then it was taken away because you know what? I, I was a copy and paste. It wasn't my original content and I'm okay with that. I, I recognize that that is, I mean, maybe it was for the first couple of weeks, first three weeks, or maybe even two months that that was going on but now they're they're cracking down on giving away that money for non-original content and that's you know that's a they, that was a good slap on my wrist i'm not gonna try to be holier than thou and say i didn't do something like that oh no we, we lost george we just lost, we just lost okay, so i guess i'm the new host now so welcome <laughs> to renee nouveau's <laughs> and let's say i was the host <laughs> about we can well, let's fight over who's the host oh, i guess you know what i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna win this no you're the viking woman you tolerate <laughs> me. 
You tower over my five, six. So, um, I didn't realize that you were a plagiarist. Now I don't know if we can be friends. I know. I, I have a confession that I'm, I'm really interested. You know, I'm sure you saw my badges that I made that said 100% human generated content. Um, you know, it's funny because you mentioned that Ned's not been voting on anything. He was in the chat room when I, when I published this, or he, I guess he saw it after I'd published it and he goes, great job, Renee, on those badges, plus one. And I was like, ooh, does that mean he just voted for me? So I run over to my, my page and I'm like, wait, there's no Ned vote here. <laughs> oh, um, I'm like, honey, Ned, if you're listening, if you say plus one to somebody, that means that you vote upvoted. <laughs> come, on, come on, Ned, that's internet, uh, that's yeah. internet et uh, etiquette. <laughs> Okay. You, just don't, you don't throw those numbers, those plus yeah. ones around like that. Don't be willy nilly like everybody, like the whale upvotes. You gotta be, you gotta be just as careful with those plus ones as you do with the whale upvotes, man. Generating false confidence. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, you know, um, I'm, I'm a semi believer of there's nothing new under the sun. Uh, mm -hmm. As in, when my experience as an intelligence analyst in the military was not taking, making my own original content, yeah. not at all. It was about taking reports of facts that are made that had been filtered through a human, mm -hmm. put on a piece of paper. Then I had to go read it. And I compare it against a bunch of other people that also interpreted facts of their own experience through and then threw it on a piece of paper. I had to find correlations versus subjective information in the articles. I got to read open source and, you know, military documents regarding whatever. And, you know, uh, by the time I was presenting it to the commander, I fucking plagiarized the ever living shit out of the military stuff. You know, it, but that that was the job. It was the entire organization, and and in that sense, I have adopted a certain global mentality, a global mind that I recognize. You know what? There's a lot of people who've done a lot of work already that I don't need to go do again. I just need to relate it to each other, and the relation is the unique content. The the, mm -hmm. the organization of those external ideas um and then presented in a way it wasn't presented to before and um you know so i think that's the the synthesis the art of synthesizing disparate parts of information but that's not what people are doing they're 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 claiming that they created this or had conversations with uh, these people uh, um and then you have the other level of is this even human generated or is this a bot synthesizing information apparently um, that has gone on oh yeah yeah that yeah. which is pretty uh who who was that uh there was a a very so, so yogi artist kind of has a copy of the software and he published something that kind of sparked a very emotional reaction for me as an artist and a, and a writer uh, because it was very convincing and had i not known that it was an, a bot i might have thought i mean there was some glaring uh, grammatical errors but a human can kind of gloss that over um so although i am anti-content bot i would love to have uh, a tag on steam it that says this is written by a bot and and just just let us consent to knowing that it's not human generated. <laughs> yeah, there's a certain, there is certainly a, an appreciation uh, to be had that a bot can, in fact, put together something fairly complex and almost pass off as mm -hmm. a, a, as a average human. Mm -hmm. um, that there is something to be, you know, some value there. But I, I agree, there is a. Um, it's I about mean, if you're if you're trying to deceive your audience. Yeah. I think that that's where I draw the line. Yeah. Um, and I, I guess that's kind of what I was, uh, I, I try not to deceive my audience, but I don't hide the fact that there's plenty of other places you can uh, go grab some stuff. Like mm -hmm. I had a, a nice list of those uh, personality types, the, the interesting facts mm -hmm. and personalities. And George very uh, rightfully called me out on taking the pictures from 16personalities.com. Uh, guilty, guilty. <laughs> never, never once claimed that was mine in 
anybody who's done even the slightest bit of a Myers-Briggs personality test Google search will immediately see that those are like the first images that come up. I never make the claim that it's mine. Well, you don't, you don't attribute it though, which I, 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 it's an implicit claim that it's yours. I, I understand that now, and I, mean, I can. I, I got my hammer and nails ready. I really don't want to nail you to the cross here. No, bro. no, no, no. I, I brought this up. I didn't have to put myself on blast on a podcast about some fucking you know little bit of seventeen cents that will probably never be seen by anybody and will disappear again into the abyss of the blockchain. Um, you know, and but I, I, I do want to make better content, right? This is, I think this is very much a learning experience. You're, I, apparently I've jumped into a platform with a fuck ton of professional news uh, uh, or professional reporters who found this or bloggers, people who've been doing this for a while and they've got a strategy. Well, that's, that's the other thing, not to interrupt you, but... There are professional writers who are not introducing themselves to the community. And so when they don't engage with us as community members, it feels as if it feels as if it's somehow ingenuine or if it's content that's been procured um, maybe by a bot or maybe plagiarized from another source mm. because they don't they don't present themselves as as fully fleshed out humans. And they're instantly getting these big, these big payouts without an introduction post, without, hey, I, I mean, I respect everybody's um, right to be anonymous on the internet. But you can say, hey, I'm a professional writer. That's awesome. And not just be, I'm this mysterious person who just pops this article down and gets $1,000 for it. Um, yeah. Where there's people who are really bearing their souls and being vulnerable and authentic on Steemit that I think are much more involved in the community that are not better, more deserving. I don't want to make that judge, but that's where my upvotes go. <laughs> well, and on the topic of, of, of getting or, you know, becoming better at producing content um, in my, I've offered on my channel a couple of times to on my blog, a couple of times to mentor people um, because I'm, I've been writing for a while and I'm, I'm decently good at it. And I can offer, you know, if nothing else, uh, you can just bounce ideas off of me. You can uh, do that at the uh, George Donnelly um, channel on steamit.chat. And anybody's welcome, you know, no matter what your, your language or background or whatever. Got your, got your own uh, Steamit chat now. Getting official. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, sorry. I, I, I uh, disappeared on you there. I had a lightning strike. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess the internet's okay. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. Everything came back within a few minutes. We've been getting a lot of thunderstorms here lately. Uh, where I am in, in Col- I'm in actually in Colombia in Medellin, Colombia. And, uh, it's a good place to be if you're, you know, one of these people who thinks that, uh, you know, everybody's going to run out of clean water because it rains a lot. <laughs> uh, California here. So I don't know what this rain thing is that you're talking about. <laughs> come up north to, come up north to Oregon. We get plenty <laughs> of rain and we're luckily on a huge ass mountain of fresh water. Yeah. No so. Let's jump to our next segment, which is about, uh, you know, abusive downvoting. Now, some people have been complaining, you know, eh, they downvoted me. They stole my steam, you know, and they're censoring me. 